Okay, so I promise I'm gonna get straight to the point of this video in less than a minute, but I do wanna explain to you guys what's going on over here because obviously the whole setup has changed and it has a lot to do with what's going on back there. That is the intro to my new show. It's called World of the Future and episode one from season one is dropping this week. I literally cannot wait to share it with you guys. It's super creative and it's really different from anything I've ever done before. Um, and I'll show you a little sneak peek of that intro right now. World of the Future. Yes, the bustling world of a thousand years With its ambitious inhabitants, dreams already realized of man's triumph over nature. So I hope you guys like the intro. I know it's weird. It's got sort of that crash box, science-y, kids show sort of feel from the 90s. And I literally grew up watching those shows, so all that stuff is ingrained into my mind. Um, but as you can see, the show's gonna be totally different. It's gonna be way out of my comfort zone, but it's gonna be really creative, and it's gonna have a huge variety of different topics and things that we cover. So I literally cannot wait to share it with you guys. I think you guys will love it. Um, but let's get straight into today's video. Um, we're talking about disposable film camera photography. Is it any wonder the Kodak... So when I went to the store to pick mine up, the lady looked at me and she said, wow, I used to use these all the time 30 years ago. And that's when I realized the 90s was 30 years ago. I mean, kind of. And this is what we're talking about today. The Fujifilm 27 picture quick snap disposable flash camera. It is the most widely available disposable camera on the market and it retails for about $11.99. Let's take a closer look. So obviously the quick snap, it's sleek, it's sexy, but it's also only 12 bucks with film and it really is an insane amount of fun. So I'm gonna take this camera, I'm gonna go outside with it, we're gonna do some photography. I'm really not sure what I'm going for and don't judge me, I haven't used one of these cameras since I was like 11 or 12. Um, after that, we're gonna go straight to Big's camera, we're gonna get these babies developed, and then we'll see what they look like. But overall, I really did love this experience. Not only did I love the pictures that I got from it, but it was actually so much fun. I've gotten so used to bringing around camera bags with all this gear, switching lenses, changing settings, and making sure I get that perfect picture. But with this, it was all different. There's no previews, there's no settings, so you just kind of have to hope for the best. And it really made me love it. I mean, it made me not stress about if the picture was good enough. I just did it for fun. And honestly, I mean, that's really what all of this is about. <laughs> 